어, 요즘은 지금 그, 어, 일반 사람들이 예, 금토 일 시대입니다. And so we see that for the normal person, it's they, they enjoy their Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. 뭐 월화수목은 그럼 아니냐? 월화수목은 일을 해야 되니까요. But of course, from Monday to Thursday, uh, then do they not enjoy themselves? It's because that, during that time they have to work. 주로 뭐 금요일, 전후, 토요일, 일요일 이렇게 막 돌아다니는 거죠. So in other words, they enjoy a, a, almost a three-day weekend from Friday to Saturday. They want uh, Sunday. They wander around. 잘 활용하셔야 됩니다. You need to utilize that very well. Uh, 그래서 지금 많은 이럴 때에 우리 렘넌트들과 또 많은 새가족들 이런 사람들이 교회로 몰려와서 치유받아야 돼요. It is at this time that we need to gather together our remnants as well as our new believers to the church so that they can receive healing. 저로의 기회를 만들어야 되는 겁니다. We need to make this into our prime opportunity. 그럼 이게 모임하는 것도 그냥 하는 것이 아니고요. 의미를 알아야 되겠죠. And even when we have these kinds of meetings, we shouldn't just have these meetings without any significance. We need to imbue it with meaning. The three feasts. These three feasts need to become mine. Oh, 그래서 가능하면 앞으로 우리 교회의 분위기를 여러분들이 막 손자 손녀 아들 딸 데리고 막 토요일부터 교회 오더라고요. So we need to make this kind of atmosphere going forward, where we can gather together our grandchildren and our children here together at the church. 그게 작게 보입니까? Do you think that that seems very trivial? 아이들과 and small? 같이 토요일 날 편안하게 교회 와서 구경도 하고 기도하고 말씀 포럼하고 이런 부분들이 사실상 평생을 좌우해요. For example, we gather together with our children here at the church very comfortably. So we take a look around and we take a walk. We pray together. We have word form together. But that will determine the course of their entire lives. 지금이라도 하셔야 된다. 그런데 우리 교회는 너무 좋은 조건이에요. 지금. We need to start this even just right now. But we have the prime conditions here at our church to do exactly that. 뭐 일부러 가족들끼리 뭐 소풍도 가지 않습니까? We even have families go on picnics together. 유대인들이 하나님의 말씀을 알고 있는 유대인들이 성공한 사람들이 이세 절기를 실제로 지키는 겁니다. The successful Jewish people who knew this, they practically and realistically enjoyed these three feasts. 실제로 초막을 만들고 할아버지하고 손자와 같이 이, 이 초막을 만들고 이세 절기를 실제로 지키는 거예요. They actually commemorated and kept these three feasts with grandparents and their grandchildren coming together to make these tents spend time together. 그 가족들이 막 모여서 새 즐기 지켜 예배당에 가고 이렇게요. The entire family gathering together, together going to the place of worship to keep the three feasts. 네, 이러다 보니까 13세만 딱 되지면은 달란트를 발견해요. And that's why, because they're able to do that at the age of 13, they were able to discover their gifts, their talents. And that is the coming of age ceremony. So they have no choice but to succeed. But for us, we see that naturally so many of our children, they have long conversations with their peers, their friends. 똑똑한 아이들일수록 그럼 가정에 상처 입으면요 문제 와요. And the smarter the students, the more they incur the, these scars in their home, the, the, the more they face hardships in their home, they have these kinds of scars that cannot be erased. 그 얘들이 조금 잘하면 본인들도 모르게 전문성을 갖출 수 있도록 회당이 딱 준비돼요. 곳곳에. Also have these synagogues prepared in every single location so that these individuals can gather together and there discover their sense of expertise. 대단하죠. So how amazing is that? 이걸 지금 한다고 해도 대단한데 그때가 언제입니까? So let's say, for example, that they were doing this now. Even that would be an amazing feat. But when did they begin this? 그러고 사회로 들어가면 벌써 딱이 사람들을 최고로 만들 수 있는. And when these individuals enter into society, they have the lodges prepared where they can make them into the greatest individuals and figures. 이게 눈에 안 보이게 유대인들에게 지금 일어나고 있는 거예요. This unseen to our eyes is happening for the Jewish community. 이런 행사는 전부 교회 가기 전에 부모님들하고 같이. 
And these events, they carry this out before they even go to the place of worship together with their parents at home. 우리나라가 한 개도 받지 못한 노벨상 3분의 1을 유대인이 가져왔습니다. In our country, we have yet to receive a Nobel Prize, but a third of those prizes went to the Jewish people. 우리나라 사람이 얼마나 똑똑합니까? 아직도 노벨상 하나도 안 나왔잖아요. How smart are Korean people, and yet we have not received the Nobel Prize yet? 어, 뭐 노벨상이 다는 아니지만 그래도 어, 경쟁 속에서 못 따라잡았다는 거죠. Now, of course, that's not a decisive determinant receiving that prize or not, but that means that we have continued to uh, not be able to stay ahead in, in terms of the competition. 그 우리 아이들이 이런 경험을 전혀 못 해요. And our children have yet to have this kind of experience. 부모님에게 뭐 잔소리 듣고 상처받고 이건 됐지만은 실제로 세절기를 어떻게 하는지, 막 기도를 어떻게 하는지 뭐 이런 걸본 적이 없는 거요. They are nagged by their parents, and because of that, they incur huge scars. But they don't know how to pray. They've never been taught how to keep three feasts from their parents. 아, 이제는 회복해야 됩니다. We need to restore this now. 그래서 저는 그렇게 말하고 싶어요. 여기다가 진짜로 부모님 아이들 데리고 와서 기도하는 숙소도 만들어라. And that's why I want to emphasize. Let's make these kinds of accommodations here at our church so that people can come together with their children and stay here. 안 되면 우선해요. 이, 이 마늘 서울교회 때문에 이 주위에 숙소가 없다 이런 정도 돼야 돼요. And if that's difficult to do initially, then perhaps we can have the kind of new spread where, because of Emmanuel Church here, all the accommodations and hotel facilities nearby, they're completely kept up capacity. There's no room left. 옛날에 그저 예원교에서 어, 핵심 개소할 때 예원교 주위의 모든 식당이 우리 멤버들로 꽉 차버렸잖아요. There was a time when we constantly had the core meetings held at Yewon Church, and every single time that meeting was held, all of the nearby restaurants were filled with our members. 지금 코로나 때문에 못 모이기 시작했으니까 그 주위의 식당들이 다 언제 모이냐고 물어볼 정도로. And now, because of the coronavirus pandemic, we have not been able to meet together face to face. That's why a lot of the restaurant owners nearby in that region are asking, "When will you reconvene these meetings again?" 이러다 보니까 어릴 때 벌써 딱 달란트를 찾아냈고. Because these things are happening, the Jewish people are able to discover their talents very early on. 이런 축복을 어, 우리 후대들 누리게 해야 됩니다. We need to help our posterity enjoy this blessing. 그리고 이제 회당 있죠. 이러니까 계속해서 전문성이 나오잖아요. And because they have the synagogues in place, that's why they're able to constantly discover their expertise. 겨우 다른 나라에서는. In other countries, people are always constantly wondering and worrying about where they can get a job. 뭐 우리나라 수준이 뭐 일자리 만들어내는 수, 창조 이런, 이런 수준이거든요. And the level of our country right now, we're trying to create employment and jobs. 벌써요. 졸업 하기 전에 현장에 딱 연결돼. But already for them, before they even graduate, they are connected to the field. That is the role of the lodge. 그래서 설치는 수준도 중요하지만은요 되어지는 걸볼줄 알아야 돼요. And perhaps it's important to get ahead of ourselves, but at the same time, 그렇잖아요. what's more important is for us to see what naturally takes place. 열심도 중요하지만은 그는 수준 낮은 거고요 누림이 더 중요해요. Our diligence is also merited. It's also very important. What's even higher level than that is our enjoyment. 막 싸우고 이기고. 그것도 필요해요. 그냥 그는 수준 낮은 거예요. Competing and winning, that's important as well, but that's very low level, low class. 어, 진짜 하나님을 아는 렘들 일곱 명은 싸우지 않고 다 이겼어요. The seven remnants who truly knew God, they won without fighting. 꼭 기억해야 됩니다. You need to remember this. 그래서 앞으로 이제 그 주말에는 교회로 모이자. So that we can instill ourselves. 그, 그 분위기로 만들어야 돼요. With the thinking and how that kind of atmosphere, where on the weekends let's all gather together at the church. 그런데 에, 유대인들 가운데 대부분 사람들이 이걸 해가 성공을 했는데 놓친 게 있어요. But we see that the vast majority of Jewish people they achieved success because of these things, but there was one thing that they lost hold of. 이 열심히 하다가 복음 탁 놓쳐 본 거예요. They employed great diligence, 그렇죠. and yet during the course of that, they lost hold of the gospel. 복음 놓쳐 버리면 새 
절기에 의미 놓쳐버린다니까요. If you forfeit the gospel, then you also lose hold of the meaning of the three feasts. 그래서 성공은 했는데 재앙이 많은 거예요. And that's why, though they achieve success, they continue to face calamities. 놓친 것을 이제 찾아야 돼요. We must now restore what has been lost. 뭡니까? What, are, what is that? 유월절에 행사만 지키는 것이 아니고 유월절의 축복이 뭐냐 말이에요. It's not just commemorating the feast of the Passover. It's discovering the blessing of the Passover. 여러분과 우리의 후대가 사단의 열두 가지 전략에서 완전히 해방시키는 날입니다. It is a day that has brought complete liberation to all of us and to all of our posterity from within the 12 strategies of Satan. That's very important. And Christ solved all of these problems. We simply need to know and enjoy this blessing. That's the blessing of the Passover. 그래 여러분 자녀들 보고 막 너무 막 강조할 필요도 없어요. 그냥 누리면 되는 겁니다. You don't need to overemphasize this to your children. They just simply need to enjoy it. 왜 복음을 갖다가 말이죠. 굉장히 지루하게 설명하는 사람 있잖아요. There are some people who explain the gospel in a very arduous and boring way. 그리고 굉장히 재밌게 또 설명하는 사람 있잖아요. But there are also people who explain it in a very fun way. 아이들이 그 중요합니다. That's very important for our children. 어 애들이 선생님 한 분이 뭐 예를 들어 영어를 가르친다 재밌게 가르치는 사람 있잖아요. One teacher, for example, an English teacher can teach their subject in a very fun, entertaining way. 정말 힘들게 또 가르치는 사람이 있다니까요. There are also those who explain in a very difficult way. 그래서 우리가 우리의 후대들과 우리 자신이 이 복음의 축복을요 정말 누릴 수 있도록. That's why we need to make it so that our children, our posterity, as well as ourselves, can truly enjoy the blessing of the of the gospel. For example, the Passover. And what else the Jewish people lose hold of? The blessing of the Pentecost. What is the Pentecostal blessing? First Corinthians 3:16, the Holy Spirit already indwells in us. 그렇다고 하면은 그렇다고 하면 요한복음 14장 어또 16장 이런 데 보면은 성령의 인도를 받게 되겠죠. And if that's so, John 14, John 16, then of course we will rightfully receive the guidance of the Holy Spirit. 그러다가 어떤 일이 벌어집니까? And then what will result? 이게 내게 충만하게 능력으로 임하게 되는 거죠. We see that we are completely filled in power with Acts 1:8. 이게 오순절입니다. That is the Pentecost. 그래 우리는 절기 정도가 아니죠. 24. That's why for us it's not simply about the feast itself. It is our 24 hours. 유대인은 절기를 지켰는데 그대 제대로 지키다 응답받았지만 우리는 24. The Jewish people, of course, received rightful answers as they kept in commemorating the three feasts. But for us, it is about 24 hours. 수장절은 뭡니까? Then what is the in gathering? 쉽게 말하면 하나님이 우리에게 천국 시민권을 주었잖아요. Just to give a simple explanation of this, God has given to us the citizenship of heaven. 이미 권리를 우리가 받은 거예요. We've already received that power, that right. 그러고 땅 끝까지 가서 이 복음 전할. And he has also given to us, in addition to that right, the power to go to the ends of the earth. That is the background of heaven. The in-gathering. And so you must remember this. And moreover, we see that the power of the throne comes and descends upon the place where you are in prayer as the kingdom of God. That is a genuine blessing of the in-gathering. 그리고 이 땅에서 우리 영원히 살진 않아요. 우리 죽지 않습니다. 영원히 살지 않고 옮기는데 하늘 보좌로. And of course, we cannot live forever on this earth, but our lives continue on. We have eternal life, and that is a background in the throne of, of the kingdom of God. That's what Jesus explained. 
So unbelievers might say we'll die, but it's not just about a simple death for us. 영적인 거 아무것도 모르는 불신자들 죽으면 끝이던데 아, 끝 아닙니다. Unbelievers who have no understanding of the spiritual knowledge, they think that when they die, it's over. But that's not the case for us. 아, 여러분 나이 많이 드셔가지고요, 우리 몸이 이제 많이 폐하게 되면 우리의 영혼이 하나님의 나라로 옮겨가는 거지 없어지는 게 아니에요. So as we grow older in our years and our body becomes more vulnerable, once we end our lives here upon this earth, it's not the end of our lives in that manner, but our spirits and souls go to God. 그 모세가 얘기한 대로요. 여러분이 우리 어르신들이 기도하지 않습니까? 여러분이 하나님의 나라 옮겨지고 난 뒤에 후대들에게 응답이 나. And just as Moses prayed, we have many of our elderly here. The prayers that you pray once you pass on into the next life, we see that those answers come upon our posterity, upon our children. 시편 90편에 기록돼 있죠. That's recorded in Psalm 90. 그럼 뭐뭘 모르니까 사람들이 하나님 말씀을 모르니까 지금 자기 멋대로 생각하는 거지. But because people don't know the word of God, they just think any which way they want. That's not the end for us. 평생을 무당을 하다가 고생한 사람이요. 이거 내 후대에게 절대 안 물리는데 죽고 난 뒤에 그것도요. 죽고 난 뒤에 자기 딸에게다 그런 거. A person who suffered endlessly their entire life long being a shaman wished ardently that they would not pass this on to their children. After she died, however, that same problem came upon her daughter. 그 일반 사람들이 이거 몰라서 그렇지. 세상 말로 죽는다. 우리 하나님 나라 갔다. 굉장히 중요한 거예요, 그거는. The average individual doesn't understand these words, but we say in a secular manner that we end our lives, that we die. However, we then pass over into the kingdom of God. 끝이 아닙니다. It's not the end. 여러분이 이 축복을 매일 누리는 겁니다. You must enjoy this blessing every day. 그래서 이것 가지고 이 삼칠 나라 우리 살리는데. And with this, we must save the two, three, seven nations. 지금 우리가 안 하고 있는 게 뭐죠? But what is it that we are not doing right now? 많은 성도님들이 얘기거리가 많은데 가만 놔두면 사람 얘기하다 죽어요. We see that there are so many things that our believers have to discuss and talk about, but if you just leave them alone, they only speak about the physical things, and then they just perish that way. 그래서 매일 새질기요 교회 모여서요 여러분들이 이 축복을 누리는 포럼과 기도와 응답. That's why we need to have the three feasts every day. We need to have this gathering together at the church to share forum, to share in the word, and to continue to receive these answers together. What about for our new believers? 여러분이 쓸데없는 소리 한 마디 해버리면요, 세 가족 그 바뀌어 버려. You speak 청교회 왔으니까. One useless word, and the unbelievers completely change that way. 아 여러분이 교회 와서 막 은혜 받고 말이죠, 막 응답은 얘기하면 그 바뀌어. But if you speak about the grace you received at the church, the answers you received, then again, new believers will change that way as well. People cannot even, they cannot even discern between what is a blessing and what is a curse. Honestly, we do not understand the extent of the blessings we have already received. You might think to yourselves, "Well, we come to the church sanctuary and we pray. Well, what does that amount to?" But that itself is a true blessing. 우리 부모님들이 뭐 기도하고 뭐 이랬는데 안 믿는 우리 친척들 뭐 기도고 말로 안 하면서 이렇게. Our parents continue to engage in prayer. Many of the people around would say, when they didn't understand the meaning of prayer, why do you have to continue to pray? 반드시 후대에게. Absolutely, those answers will come upon our posterity. Remnant, and to our remnants. How precious are they? 그래 영적으로 무식한 사람들은 나이 많은 사람들이 왜큰 활동도 못 하고 뭐큰못 하잖아요. 그럼 그 사람들 뭐뭐별뭐 중요하지 않다고 생각합니다. People who are spiritually ignorant, they see people who are old in their years. It seems as though they don't have the capacity to do anything at all, and they look down on them. But that means that they're ignorant. 오히려 나이 많은 분들, 어린 아이들, 우리 뭐 여자분들이나 순수하게는 기도 있잖아요. 그게 성취되어져요. But rather, the elderly, the young children, the women, all those for people who they might not seem like they'd have that kind of professional acumen or capacity, but they enter into pure prayer, and that is the answer. 내가 전에 그런 얘기 했지 않습니까? 35평 지하에서 내가 예배를 드리고 있는데 수영로 교회에서 날 보고 
강사로 초청을 한 거예요. 그래 간 겁니다. This is the early days of our ministry at our, new, at our church. It was a very small plot of land, and we were giving worship in a basement sanctuary. It was around that time that uh, the, the Suyongno Church invited me to give a lecture. 아니 그 수영로 교회 예배당이 우리 이그만 건물 안 크지만은 좋잖아요 이렇게 해요. As you know, those who are familiar with this, Seungno Church is not as large as this building here, but it's very well built. 아, 막 성도님들도 보니까 영도에 있는 그런 사람 같지 않고요. 막 멋쟁이들이 많은 것 같고 막 And 이래요. The believers who gather the Seungno Church, they seem very different from the kind of people who gather together at our church in Yeongdo Island. It was a different caliber of people. 그게 내가 착각을 하는 거죠. And that's why I felt this misconception. 우리 그습니다 It's easy for us to become that. 아 way. 이렇게 말이야. 괜찮은 사람들이 많이 모이면. 예, 붕대고 막 이렇게 생각하죠. Wow, if you have a lot of people who are in that top notch of that society uh, gathered together, and I'm sure that the church growth will take place very easily. 밤에 지나가다가 그 우리 서른다섯 분 지하에 가서 들어가 봤어요. It was late at night, and I just happened to be passing by our church building, that basement in that small plot of land. 권사님들이 모여가지고 기도하고 있는. And I happened to see that the lights were lit and the senior deaconesses were gathered in prayer. 알고 봤더니 매일 같이. And I later found out they were doing this every night. 그거 아무것도 아닌 같지요. You think that's nothing? 그렇지 right? 않습니다. But that's not the case. 조금 미안한 얘기지만은 힘이 없는 그 영도 사람들이 그힘 있는 교회보다 훨씬 더큰 복음이라고. And I'm sorry to say this, but it's actually the people who seem so weak and vulnerable, the people of Yongdo, who are carrying out a greater gospel ministry than those amazing people gathered at Suyongno Church. 그막 시작할 때부터 또 우리 김영길 목사가 또다 그것들 어릴 때부터 거기서 계속 그 자란 아이들이죠. And Reverend Kim Yongil, he was also there on the scene. He was a child then. He grew up in that kind of background. 여자 우리 뭐 박봉원 선교사 우리 어? 유성교사 저런 부부들 다 그게 이렇게 자란 사람들에. And we have missionary park and missionary area. You all of them grew up in that kind of situation. 우주 사람들 지금 세계 보험을 하고 있잖아요. And these are the people who are carrying out world evangelization right now. 여러분의 기도는 절대로 헛되지 않습니다. Your prayer is not in vain. 오늘도 그 기도가 시작되기를 주 예수 이름으로 축복합니다. And I bless you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ that even today that prayer may begin. 기도하겠습니다. 하나님께 감사드립니다. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord. 오늘 아무도 알지 못하는 보좌의 능력이 임하는 귀중한 예배가 되게 해 주옵소서. May this be the precious worship through which the power of the throne comes upon us, that which no one knows about. 우리의 기도가 세계 살리는 하나님의 능력으로 나타나게 하옵소서. And may our prayers be manifested as the power of God to save the world. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도하옵나이다. Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.